Now I've got this peace from God. Now I've got this peace from God. Before Jesus, Jesus. Yeah, I used to think a lot about things that have stressed me out. Now I've got this peace from God. So if you were here the last couple weeks, you know who I am, but I will introduce myself. I am Dustin Taylor, a.k.a. Trinity. So we're going to move to this picture here. So here's a pine tree. And uh, to me, this speaks a lot of things. I want to call some people up. If you want to raise your hand, I want this night, like I said, I expect people to be set free. And one of the things for me I've already shared, I shared that I had to let loose my control over my emotions. And I had to become it's master in the sense of letting it out. I had to do that. And so that's one thing I've worked on. So I'll erase it. I'll erase my, the fence I've put up around my heart. So something that you either need to give up and you know you do, or, okay, you already, so that's, that's your. Okay, so great days. I, uh, I knew, uh, I was gonna quit and um, I made my uh, weakness Weakness was you wanted to quit. Yeah. How did you make it your strength? Um, well, I didn't quit. <laughs> so, so you kept going. Erase uh, one of the branches. Please. Okay. One question before you go. What made you want to keep going? Well, people, would, people encouraged me, and then I, um, the more that I kept doing J's, the more that I learned that um, Satan was telling me to quit because of the great things that I would do. Thank you. All right, so that's Kate's story. Thank you. I'm Blair, and I, before I did J's, I was listening to secular music, and I gave up. I was very proud of myself. All right. Yes. First few times I came here, I thought I would never become a Christian. And honestly, I learned the way that God is practically my body. So I just chose to become a Christian. Yeah, I'm trying to get my family to support me in it, but I'm still trying. That's awesome. Yes. The tree started to look pretty funny. Hey, that um, my father um, left when I was three months old, so I've never met him, never, even, I don't even know his name. And um, I just was really struggling with that. And uh, a couple days ago, um, I had seen this little girl, and she ran into her dad's arms, and she said, Dad, and she gave her a huge hug, and Satan was attacking me like, you're not worth it. That's you don't ever get to have that. And then, and then I, um, Kate actually prayed for me and was like, "Well, you are worth it." And, and um, Jesus is your father, and we never forget that. So it was just really important to me that in that song, "Break Every Chain," it was like, "Wow, I don't have to worry about that." Anymore. Yes, that's great. And, uh, okay, we're running out of time, so I just want to make sure we all have time. I think that's a great story to end on. She had, her first thing was, can I tell a story? There's a backstory. And to her, she's still, obviously you can see it's something that she's fighting with inside. She just erased that brand. She's, she's committing in her heart and through Kate being a good friend, exactly what we talked about last week, encouraging, giving fresh hope speaking God's word into your life. That's what we need to do. So what I want to do is have the worship team come up. I'm going to kind of go through this tree real quick. So just imagine that a lot of you have stories. So if you need to give something up 
tonight. We're going to give you a chance right now in this worship time. Give it up. Let it go. Erase the branch. But let me say this. If you see as we erase these branches, what will happen eventually is we'll be left with. Because here's the thing. A lot of times in life, who knows of, uh, let's just pick anyone in the secular realm. They usually just tell their own story, don't they? Or like, look how sweet I am. Look how cool I am. They have their own message. I do it a lot of times too. I'll tell people like, I did this, I did that, I did this, look at me, this is what I do. So we have our own message in life. And what we need to do is we need to erase these things and we need to give them up. We need to get down to a point where all we end up seeing is a message of Jesus Christ, Him hanging on a cross, His message. It's all about Him. And that requires us to become less about ourselves, more about what he had shared in the sense of Jesus Christ has done something in my life. He's doing something in my life. I'm willing to lay it all down at his feet and say, yes, Jesus, I'm willing to tell your message.